Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. Do you want to see another picture of me? There's one inside the book as well. There we are. Me and Ringo. Everyone likes Ringo. Everyone prefers Ringo to me. I know it. I don't know. I'm not bitter. I don't mind. It's understandable. I prefer Ringo to me. Um, <laughs> I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my books before. Have you seen this one? It's called Sunk. It's another penguin blue adventure. I wrote another one called Blown Away. That was my first book. But this one, look. <gasps> Pirates. Pirate ships and Captain Walker Plank here is a walrus. We actually drew Captain Walker Plank. Video number 34. If you want to go back and have a look at how to draw pirate, a little piratey walrus. Um, but this is a fun one. Lots of stuff going on with pirate ships and whales and all sorts of stuff. Maybe you've seen my latest book, Dog Gone, which is all about Teddy here, who loses his human Dave when they're out on a walk one day. And it's a really fun story there. There's Teddy, look. Lost his human, Dave wasn't there. Oh. So that's a fun one. But we are here today, as per usual, to do a little drawing together. And today we are drawing a very cool animal indeed. An animal that is found in Australia, mainly. Uh, I think they're also in Tasmania and in New Guinea too, but mainly they're found in Australia. Uh, have you guessed what it is yet? I'll give you another clue. They are a marsupial animal, which means they carry their young in a pouch. I mean, I don't know why you're asking, why I'm asking if you've guessed it, because at the beginning of the video, it literally said the name of the animal that we're drawing. Um, but it's quite fun, isn't it, to play this guessing game? Um, so yes, they're a marsupial. They carry their young in a little pouch and they jump everywhere. And they're from Australia. Come on, this is the easiest quiz ever, isn't it? That's right. Today we are drawing a kangaroo. I'm super excited about this. Now, I've never been to Australia, which is terrible, really. I've got I've got quite a lot of family over in Australia. My auntie and uncle and my cousins, they all live over in Brisbane in Australia. But I just haven't been able to get over and visit them yet. I'm hoping to remedy that one day. And hopefully when I go, I might even see a kangaroo in the wild. That would be fabulous, because I think they're very, very beautiful animals. So we're going to draw a picture of a nice cartoony kangaroo today. Right, this is how Draw With Rob works, just in case you've never seen it before. Lots of people, when I go visit festivals and schools and things, um, people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. Quite a lot of children. I ask that question at the beginning of my session. Lots of hands always go up and say, no, I don't think I'm very good at drawing. And I say, well, listen, everybody can draw. You just need a bit of help sometimes with the order to do the drawing in, which is where I come in. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to draw a little bit on my piece of paper in front of me here. You can then pause the video and copy exactly what I do. It'll just be a little tiny shape because I'm going to break the drawing down, you see, into little bite-sized pieces. Copy what I do. Start me up again. I'm going to draw the next bit. Pause me. Copy what I do. Start me up. I will draw. Pause me. You draw. Start me up. I draw. You draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we're going to end up with a really nice picture of a kangaroo. And maybe this kangaroo will have a little bonus drawing included in it too. <gasps> maybe we're going to draw two animals. That's all I'm saying. Right. Okay. Let's start, shall we? Now, I think we're going to start at the bottom of our page today. Right in the middle, I want you to draw a horizontal line like this with your pen there we go quite I don't know what do you think that is six or seven centimeters long quite long actually do you know what I'm gonna make it very slightly longer I think so then we can make our drawing a bit bigger so that's about 10 centimeters long the next thing to do is the left hand end of our line I want you to go up a tiny bit curve around and then go along not quite halfway maybe about a third of a way back a lot of the way back along the, your line like that then I want you to head upwards and curve around like that then we're going to go back to the place where we started the right hand end of our line and we're going to turn upwards and we're just going to do a little line like that okay and this, can you guess which part of the kangaroo this is going to be? That's right, this is going to be our kangaroo's rear leg. Now kangaroos have these huge, very, very strong rear legs because, as I mentioned earlier, they jump everywhere, don't they? So they're really built for jumping. 
they have quite small front legs almost like arms and then they have these huge powerful rear legs that help them jump everywhere and they're amazing at jumping they they sort of hop along and they can go up to 40 miles an hour so super fast they can go like as fast as your car that's how fast they are and they do these huge long leaps like about eight meters long each of these leaps and then boing 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 really fast they're amazing things really amazing creatures although apparently they can't go backwards <laughs> they can't move backwards so it's a slight i mean i don't know is that you know, if you want to go backwards you have to turn around 180 degrees and then boing that way and then turn around again so it's a bit annoying but anyway still i would like to be able to jump eight meters wouldn't you right the next thing to do is from here so near that that corner there that we've made just above that i want you to come out and we're going to curve upwards like that sort of a little curve then we are going to do a straight line and we're going to make a nice sharp corner at the end of that curve just like that then from about here so from about half a centimeter from the end we're going to keep going up we're going to do a little curve up like so about that far okay and this is going to be our kangaroos pouch so do you remember i said kangaroos are marsupials and marsupials are animals that carry their young in a little pouch on their tummy so we've drawn a little pouch okay now we're getting up towards the top part of our kangaroo it's time we started drawing the head i think so this is how we do that we are going to draw a line that just sort of touches the end of that but goes at basically at right angles and we're going to do it quite big we can give our kangaroo quite a nice big head i think so it's nice and cartoony and we're going to start by doing this line here which is about seven centimeters or so and then at this end we're going to curve around head up a little bit and turn around like that so sort of sort of a hook shape on its side then from this point we're going to change direction sharp change of direction here head up curve around again and we're going to start heading across back across the page probably to about there so roughly level with the line that we started with and then let's join them up but well, we're going to join them up in a nice sort of curved way not dead straight so curved nice smooth curve and that is going to be the shape of our kangaroos head okay now we're going to come back to that to add the detail but first of all let's finish off our kangaroos body shall we now she's going to have a nice curved back that comes down and around and it's going to lead nicely into their very long and very strong tail so let's start about here about a centimeter and a half apart we're going to come down a little way then we're going to quite quickly we're going to curve out and around so a nice curved back but we're not going to join back up with where we started because what we want to do we want to come around here in a curve like that we want to head horizontally across our page and we're actually going to go right to the edge of our page because they've got these lovely long tails and we're going to curve around and we're going to head back to right where we started and just curve it up and join halfway up that little line there so we've got a nice smooth curve going on and we've made this huge kangaroo tail here now kangaroos tails are hugely important to them not only are they physically huge but they're very very important they're very strong and it's from the tail that's where they get all the power in their bounce the combination of this very strong tail very muscular tail and these muscular legs they sort of push off on the ground with their tail and that's what makes them bounce and they use the tail to kind of guide themselves and balance in the air as well when they're flying through the air with these huge eight meter high eight meter long bounces um, i'm not sure how i think it's a couple of meters off the ground they get as well so it's really quite incredible you should look up some videos of them on youtube because they really do travel very fast indeed right so our kangaroo is really starting to take shape now we're going to give our kangaroo a little arm just here a bit like the arms that we do on our dinosaurs i want you to do a sort of like a u shape but at a slight angle just like that that's going to be our kangaroo's arm i'm just going to get my little pen here and i'm going to add some little claws like our dinosaurs one two three 
as four little claws, just to suggest that this is a little arm. While we're here, let's add some little claws here. One, two, three little lines on that leg. Two. So there's, in lots of ways, quite similar to our dinosaur drawings, this particular kangaroo. Now kangaroos have got these nice, sort of big, sort of perky ears right on top of their head. So we are gonna draw those next. We're, and they're basically like a leaf shape. So let's start here. We're gonna curve around, go right to the top of our page, and then come back down and join up with the head like that. There's one ear, and the other one we do next to it, exactly the same, I might do mine at a slight angle. There we go. Two lovely kangaroo ears. Then we're gonna do the lining. I always like to do this little lining -y bit of my ears. That's gonna come around, just the same sort of shape, just a bit smaller. I'm using a slightly thinner pen. And there we go. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm sort of dotting around all over the place, but I'm gonna go back down to the bottom here now, because I want to add the rear leg of our kangaroo here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add another foot that sort of comes in there. It's just gonna tuck in behind like that. And then if I add the three little claws, one, two, three, that's the rear leg of our kangaroo. Really taking shape. Right, let's give her some eyes, shall we? Now the eyes, we're gonna put up here. We're gonna do two eyes. I'm gonna play around with the perspective a little bit here, have a bit of fun with it. So I'm gonna do the first eye, just in here. Nice round circle, just brushing the edge of our picture. And the other one I'm gonna do right next to it, slightly bigger for the perspective. Like that. And let's give her some lovely big eyelashes, just coming off to the side. Three, I think, today. One, two, three. Ooh. Went over the edge there, I'll just correct that. Remember if you make a mistake, just keep on drawing. You can always correct these things. There we go. I'll add a couple of eyebrows above here. One, two. Now, I'm going to do our kangaroo today. He's gonna to be looking down. So I'm gonna do her pupils right at the bottom of the whites of her eyes. One there and one there, because she's looking down at something down here. What could that be? <gasps> do you remember I said we might be drawing two animals today? <gasps> what do you think I might be drawing? <gasps> wonder if you can guess. We'll get there in a minute, don't you worry. Okay, let's add a nose now. So we're gonna come over here for our nose, right in this corner. This is how we do a nose. We start with a little straight line, like that. And then we draw a semicircle underneath it. And we color it in. So basically a coloured in upside down knee type semicircle. But you remember what I do with my noses? I like to add this swirly shape, don't I? So at each end, we just add a little swirl like that. One there and one in here, like that. That's my little kangaroo nose. Then from the middle of that nose, going straight down, a little line like that, at the bottom of that, a nice smiley little mouth. Look at that personality in our little kangaroo here. Let's add a few little whiskers here. One, two, three, four. Now you might notice I quite often do my noses and mouths like this. I do it on cats and dogs, all sorts of things, all sorts of different animals. And I guess that's my style. You know, the thing about drawing is you need to work out your own style. It's quite, you, you're all, you guys are all copying me at the moment, which is lovely, which is fine, but maybe one day you might develop your own style. And it's little details like this, the way that you draw ears or noses or mouths or little whiskers or arms or feet you will sort of find that you do them the same sort of way every time. And the more you do it, the more you sort of develop it and that becomes your kind of signature style. And then eventually people will be able to look at your drawing and they'll say, ah, oh, that looks like one of Rob's drawings or one of Jemima's drawings or one of Nathan's drawings, you know, it will, you'll develop your own style. So don't be f afraid. If you don't want to do your nose and mouth exactly like mine, you want to do it in a different way, you go for it. That's absolutely fine. I'm just here to act as a guide. So whatever you want to do, that is fine. Right, so our kangaroo really is taking shape now, but it's not finished. 
because remember I said kangaroos carry their young in these little pouches because they are marsupials. I'm going to draw a little baby kangaroo's head sticking out of that pouch. Now, do you know what baby kangaroos are called? They are called joeys. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A little baby kangaroo is called a joey. So I'm going to draw a little joey here. They've got such cool names, uh, kangaroos, I think, because the little babies are called joeys. Do you know what a male kangaroo is called? A boomer. Isn't that cool? And a female, like this one, is called a flyer. So we have flyers, boomers, and little joey. So let's draw our little joey here, shall we? Right, what I want you to do, this line, this horizontal line for the top of the pouch, we're basically going to carry that on. We're going to come out just a little bit, like that. Then we're going to curve around, and we're going to do a similar shape to our head here, but much smaller, because it's a little joey. And we're just going to draw a little joey head sticking out, like that. Let's add the ears, just like that, but again, just a bit smaller. We've left a bit of space here, hopefully you can fit it in. There we go, oh, so cute. I'm gonna to switch to my thinner pen now, because this is quite small. I'm literally gonna draw exactly the same as I did here, so we're gonna do the little lining a bit. One there, one there. We are going to, for this one I think we'll just do one eye, so it's slightly more from the side. So we do the eye there, like that. And we're going to do the pupil right at the top because this guy is looking up at his mum. There we go, we'll add little eyelashes and a little eyebrow, just like that. And now because we're doing this slightly from the side, we are going to do the nose like this. We're just going to draw it coming in from the side there. We'll still do our little swirly bit, but only one side this time because it's from the side. And we draw a little mouth at the bottom, a smiley mouth. Don't forget your four dots for the whiskers. Look at that, isn't that cute? Little Joey looking up at his mummy. And there we go. That, my friends, is how we draw a kangaroo. So I think it's about time we did some colouring now. So kangaroos, they're usually sort of brown, pale, sort of like light, light brownish beigey sort of colour. And they've got a slightly paler tummy area, I think. But you know what? You know what I'm going to say, don't you? You can do yours any colour you like. The more colourful, the better. That's what I say. I'm going to go into super speed mode to colour my one in. So I will see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds with a fully coloured in kangaroo. Kangaroo? Kangaroo? What am I talking? I'm mixing a kangaroo <laughs> with a tangerine. <gasps> the kangaroo. That's a good That's a good title for a picture book, isn't it? The kangaroo. A cross between a, <laughs> a tangerine and a kangaroo. A big bouncing tangerine. Wow. That's C. Lots of people say, where do ideas come from? Right there, my friends. That's where our ideas come from. Keep an eye out for my new book, The Kangaroo. <laughs> right, let's start again. I'm going to disappear now for 30 seconds, colouring my kangaroo, and I'll see you back here with a fully coloured in kangaroo. <laughs> okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so there is my finished kangaroo drawing. Kangaroo, Joey. So this is a flyer. This is Joey here. Oh, it's a sweet drawing, isn't it? I like this one. It's nice to draw a little baby animal too. Now I'm gonna sign my drawing. I'm gonna do it over here. I'll do my full name, why not? Why not? Oh, bit off. There we go. Don't forget to sign your drawing so everybody knows who has created this wonderful work of art. Um, I hope you've had fun drawing this with me today. I've really liked showing you this one. I'm very, very proud of my drawing, actually, and I hope you're proud of yours too. Why don't you get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing and then post it on social media using the Draw With Rob hashtag. That's the best way to get it to me. So that's the way that I usually get to see these things, and who knows, maybe your drawing will make the grid. Um, I don't know what colours you've done your drawing. I've, I've gone for the regular brown with a slightly lighter tummy, as you can see here, and I did a little white, uh, sort of lighter bit around the muzzles of the flyer and the joey. Um, maybe yours is multicoloured, maybe yours is, is stripy or covered in stars, I don't know, but I can't wait to see them. So do post them with that hashtag. Um, 
Yes, if you want to see, uh, make sure you don't miss any of my Draw With Rob videos. The best thing to do if you're watching on YouTube is press the subscribe button, which is somewhere down here, I think. Press on that subscribe button, then you'll get a little notification every time I post a new video. That's the best way to keep up to date. Um, as I said, I hope you've had fun drawing this kangaroo with me today. I really like showing you how to do it. I'm going to be back very soon with another brand new Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, everybody, take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Keep those pencils sharpened. And I will see you again very soon. Bye, everyone. I'm back and I'm here to tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? We've got a brand new one and it's out now and it's called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, this one is all about telling you how to build your own stories, how to write them, how to illustrate them. We're gonna think about characters, how to choose your good guys and your bad guys. We're gonna think about where you set your stories, very important, when you set your story. Is it gonna be in the past, set in the past or in the future, present day? Um, we're gonna talk about how to structure your story. We, we need to give it a good beginning, middle and end. What about plot twists? Do unexpected things happen in your story? It's all covered in this book here. And we've also got our regular draw-alongs. Loads of draw-alongs in this one. Lots of puzzles, lots of colouring. It's super fun. Every single page is perforated. So once you've done your little draw-along like this one of a unicorn, you draw it in the frame here and you tear that page out. You stick it up on the wall. That's super cool, isn't it? And guess what? Right at the end, we've even got lots of blank pages like that for you to write your own story and illustrate your own story. And then you can put the whole thing together. Look, you put your own story together like that and then you've made your own book. You don't need me anymore. So listen, I'm super proud of this book. I'm pretty sure you're going to really, really enjoy it. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it from wherever you buy your books. OK, so listen, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to see you really soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Bye, everyone.